All right, everybody, how's it going? It's yours truly. I'm gonna be giving you an overview of my everyday carry. So I'm in the gun world, we call this the EDC. Um, it's just a Glock 17 Gen 5. Everything is pretty much stock on this except for the iron sights. I ended up swapping those out for something a little bit more usable. I wasn't entirely a fan of the stock sights. The factory sights were no good in my opinion. So I got them swapped out for something a little bit more ideal. Something that helps me see a little bit better because I am a little hard at seeing. Now for safety reasons, I'm going to be removing the mag. But this is the, the mag right here from Glock. Um, it holds 17 rounds. Very, very cool. That's a lot of bullets for something that seems so and looks so small. Very light. Weight. So for safety reasons, we're going to go ahead and set that to the side. I'm going to go ahead and clear this, uh, clear the gun, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and continue. So what do you get when you buy something like this? Well, this is $600. I paid about $630. That's with tax. That's with the background check. Very, you know, uh, very standard. And uh, you get a really cool case, and it comes with uh, these little grip plates here. You get a lock. You got a cleaning rod and a cleaning attachment, so you can easily wipe off uh, not just for the barrel, but um, you can really get into certain places in the, in the firearm and uh, really get rid of all the gunk and debris and whatnot. You get a lot of documentation and there's warning signs all over, um, you know, this Glock box. Very cool, very necessary because you are dealing with a deadly weapon. And um, let's talk about the gun. So before I continue, I just want to talk about the things that I don't like about this. One being the price. Uh, I'm not a fan of the price, but you know, you get what you pay for. This is very expensive. Um, it doesn't have a safety, so that kind of stinks. Uh, but beyond that, um, you know, this has been a this is a huge winner to me. Now, obviously, I'm not a fan of the sights, but th one of the, but to kind of counter that issue, uh, one of my favorite things about this particular firearm, the Glock 17 Gen 5, is that it is highly customizable. Just about everything on this firearm can be swapped out and replaced with better parts. Now you are paying north of $600 for this thing. You don't need to swap out upgrade things that's just crazy that's just nonsense to me yeah the land tech parts look cool the zev stuff looks really cool there's a bunch of other firearm manufacturers or firearm companies that make really cool accessories to gucci out your your glock i just don't find it necessary um all i needed to do was get a light on here and it's easy you could just pretty much any any small small uh you know light or laser light combo like this is going to go on here just fine without any additional accessories or or any of that nonsense you just slap it on boom it's ready to go very very cool um what else and uh, yeah you know she just works she just works i've had no issues out in the field um the the gun has been incredibly reliable it's been great with some of the cheaper you know less expensive kci budget mags um i think i've only had one jam and it was with the glock mag i'm just going to chalk that up to the gun being broken in but beyond that she's been great uh, here's another thing that I absolutely really love about the gun. Taking it apart is incredibly easy. Uh, so if you got to clean it, maintenance it, or you're going to be upgrading it, this is what it takes to, uh, you know, take it apart. I'm going to go ahead and push down on here. Push down these little tabs. And then, ta-da! Very, very simple. Now I have complete and total access to the internals of the uh, of the of the actual gun portion of this uh, of this Glock. And then, of course, here we have the slide and the barrel and that spring. Here, I'm just going to be wiping my hands. And uh, Shazam! Now you have uh, now it's going to be a lot easier to clean this thing. Now it's going to be a lot easier to maintain this or swap out parts. Literally, just about everything on here can be swapped out for something better, something superior um you know but still it's just like the, the, the gun is almost perfect honestly in my opinion it's almost perfect um i wouldn't want to change anything out of it i love it just the way that it is it looks cool it's compatible with all types of accessories glock is an insanely popular brand it's utilized by our most police out here in in the, in the united states and by you know private security military contracts contractors that sort of thing so this is a highly trusted firearm um, and you know, it's one of the reasons why I bought it. You know, I'm, again, I'm not like some kind of pistol expert. You know, I don't, my, my competency is with, with long rifles, right? With, with AR-15s, I maintenance and I fix those things. And I don't know too much about pistols, admittedly. So this is kind of like a normie review or overview, if you will. Um, but you know, it's like, yeah, I can take these things apart. I can clean them and I can, you know, uh, do, do, do modifications to it if, I, if need be. But uh, uh, there's no need to. It's just like, oh, well, I got to swap out the trigger because I'm not having a good time. If you're having a difficult time shooting 
a Glock 17 Gen 5, uh, you need training. You need training. You, you need to consult with an expert, uh, you know, and, 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 and learn how to use the gun properly because there's just, there's really no need to, to change anything out on it. So that's my opinion about the Glock 17 Gen 5. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this back together. And uh, yeah, so that's it, guys. Um, I absolutely love this. I highly recommend it. And, uh, you know, just to give a little bit of perspective, I have a, a high point 45 ACP. So, uh, oh, my dogs are breaking in now. Um, and that's like the cheapest, the least expensive pistol that you can get. Now, pistols can get pretty expensive. This is by no means the most expensive one, but it's over $600. So I've been on the low end uh, end of the, 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 the gun uh, of the pistol spectrum and on the higher end of the, the pistol spectrum. And uh, you know what? Uh, you know, the, 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 you, know the, you, you get what you pay for. I'll just leave it at that. I know I have uh, nothing but positive things to say about my High Point 45 ACP. It was one of the first pistols that I ever owned. Let's see if I can uh, do this at this uh, weird angle. And ta-da, she's back together again, and uh, I'm done. That's it, guys. So, um, yeah, that's uh, my review of this gun. And, uh, you know, I'm probably going to talk about the way that I carry this thing. Uh, I use a Phobos uh, holster that's from, um, it's from Israel. It's Israeli. I like it a lot. Um, but I know a lot of people like the Safari Land stuff. Uh, that tends to be people's favorites. But, um, yeah, to each their own, man. There's just so many options out there. It's literally why I love this gun the most. Uh, for my everyday carry use for my you know personal defense use I, I sleep next to this so uh, yeah I hope this video was informative and enjoyable if you have any questions please let me know leave a comment in the comments section I know those things can get pretty wild uh, I'm always available to talk with anybody who wants to talk or who needs any help uh, picking out their next firearm or just want to yell at me for whatever reason <laughs> I'm used to it all right guys peace out